So in pressure control, the problem is not to that extent compared to volume control. Uh, and you'll figure out why now. Why now? Let's assume this patient has an in an O2P problem. He has an end expiratory volume, uh, alveolar volume. They mean less space for the next tidal volume. Decrease compliance, stretching, and over distension volume trauma, exactly like the one we explained in volume control. But look here, there is increase in end expiratory alveolar pressure because that's what's ought to be. But the proximal airway pressure here is constant. So the issue of peak inspiratory pressure, it's, it doesn't go that high because we control it with the proximal airway pressure because it's a pressure target, pressure control, right? The result is less gradient because this is higher than the PEEP, applied PEEP. When there is less gradient, man, that means there is less tidal volume delivered that may counteract this issue because there is lesser tidal volume going in, so the issue with compliance may not of a big deal and stretching and over distension. It may happen, but it's, it's not as bad or the risk is not as bad as volume control based on what I explained. So sometimes, how do you solve issue? And um, if volume control sometimes ought to peep, one of the ways to fix it is switch the patient to pressure control and again, increase expiratory time. How do we uh, fix the expiratory? Remember in pressure control, inspiratory time is directly set. So you can simply lower the inspiratory time and that's by default will increase expiratory time. The other way is decrease patient respiratory rate. That means the will increase because decreasing respiratory rate will increase the time for the whole respiratory cycle, which is inspiration time and expiration time. Simply somebody breathing 20 per minute will have three seconds. Um, three seconds for each uh, respiratory cycle. So if you lower this, it will increase this. But if I go from 10 to 20 to 10, then I will have six seconds. And if this, that will give more, even more time to expiratory time and get rid of the O2 peep. So simply when you feel O2 peep increase, do anything to increase O2 peep. And remember, permissive hypercapnia is okay, is better than having O2 peep and having all the problems with O2 peep. Remember that fact, permissive hypercapnia. I guess all of you know this term. Um, allowing CO2 to go higher a little bit to allow to prevent these consequences of O2. Peep. So if you have volume control, remember, just go back to the previous video. But also one way you can switch to volume control to pressure control and fix the inspiratory time. All do all the measures that we talked about last video. And as we explained, the O2 peep risk in pressure control is definitely less compared to volume control. And the last things I want to conclude with is IMV. I'm not going to give a separate video because this IMV is a hybrid, as I said. Of volume control or pressure control plus pressure support so whatever applied to that will apply to this